just uh, give the gist of PCIe, what is PCIe, why we need PCIe and where exactly we'll use PCIe and all. Uh, if you have any doubt, you can stop me in there itself and you can ask anything you want regarding PCIe. Uh, coming to PCIe, PCIe itself says it is a peripheral component interconnect express. Uh, as a, like where we actually use PCIe, we all know about cloud computing and all. Like uh, in the cloud computing, we have so many servers and all. In order to get connected with the edge devices, like the cloud need to interact with the edge devices or communicate with the edge devices. So for that, we need some network. Like we need the networking protocols in order to communicate between the cloud and the edge devices. That's where the PCI comes into the picture. Uh, what exactly it means is in cloud, we have multiple racks. Uh, in that racks, we have multiple servers accommodated in that. Uh, those servers have some computing stations like uh, through which uh, we can have some sockets and those sockets will need to be communicated with the accelerators, means the devices, edge devices. So uh, the PCI or CXL, whatever it might be, the networking protocol, it need to be uh, used in order to communicate between the cloud and the edge devices. The cloud will be in the data center inter interconnect and the PCIe, which we are talking about, is going to stay at the processor interconnect through which we can in, uh, communicate through the uh, to the SOC interconnect uh, where the accelerators reside at. Uh, that means edge devices, you can say. So that's where we need PCIe and why PCIe? Like uh, if you know about PCIe, you might also know about PCI and PCI X2. Why? Because those are the previous versions of the PCI. Like uh, those are first developed, uh, like they are of parallel type of protocols and they have parallel shared buses too, uh, through which they have multiple uh, advantages and uh, even more disadvantages too. In the PCI or PCI X, we have multiple pins like as I said before, they are parallel. So we need multiple pins to communicate. And uh, since it is shared bus, we have same uh, clock for all the control signals, data signals and all. And through which we might encounter some clock skew or clock um, signal skew and all. And we also get so much delay while transmitting the signal from transmitter end to the receiver end too. Uh, apart from the clock, there are multiple disadvantages like uh, whenever we insert a PCI or PCIX card, in that it will bound to the lowest peripheral device, like lowest bandwidth device. It won't consider the high bandwidth devices due to its limitations of clock. So uh, that's the PCI is introduced over the, over the PCI and PCIX. And uh, this PCI is a serial communication protocol through which we can decrease the pin count. And it is also a packet-based protocols. Uh, like we have some boundaries while we are sending the data. And uh, it is also a backward compatible protocol, which means we can uh, have PCIe and through that we'll communicate using PCI or PCIX2 means it is backward compatible with the previous versions too. And this PCIe is a layered protocol. It has three layers, we'll discuss it in later. And this is used for high bandwidth communication. And this PCIe will give much throughput than previous versions. And this PCIe have like, um, as I said before, it is backward compatible. We have, uh, a switch, a root complex, and an endpoint as the devices of PCIe through which we can communicate uh, with the CPU uh, and the endpoint uh, like in serial manner. We don't need multiple connections for that. It will communicate serially itself. And in order to accommodate the previous versions, we have legacy endpoints and the native endpoints in the PCIe itself. And coming to the layers, like uh, if we take two devices which need to communicate, 
uh, through PCI. If in order to communicate, we need to have a link. Means we need to have. Uh, and I forgot to tell you a point uh, is uh, that is like PCI is dual simplex connection. Means we have two simplex connections between the two uh, devices. Uh, in each simplex connection, we have a transmitter and a receiver in it. And uh, that connection itself is named as a link. Uh, in the links, we have lanes. Each link consists of multiple lanes. That might be cross one lane or cross two lane or cross six, uh, cross eight lane, whatever it might be according to the requirement. And the link is a physical connection between two devices. So in order to communicate between the two devices, first of all, we need a connection between them. So in order to establish the link, uh, we need to train the link, initialize the link, and we need to train the link. Uh, that will be happened in the physical layer. Uh, the physical layer is responsible for initi initiating the link and training the link. After training the link, and uh, there we have to do some encoding process and serializing and deserializing the data and all. After completing that, uh, the link will move to the data link layer in which we have another state machine called DLC MSM. Through that, uh, that link will be upgraded towards the data link layer. And in that data link layer, there are other responsibilities too. Like uh, there are some packets for that data link layer. We need to generate those packets and we need some mechanism whether we have transmitted the good packet or bad packet, that will be done in the data link layer itself, like some ACNAC mechanism and all. And we also have uh, a flow control mechanism in the data link layer through which we can know like uh, how much buffer space is available at the receiver end so that we can send that much of the data towards it. After establishing the link in the DL layer also, the link will move towards the uh, transaction layer the main layer in which uh, we'll generate the and packet like TLP, we'll call it as a TLP. We'll have some control and data, the data which we are exactly sending to the receiver will be done in the transaction layer itself. So after generating the TLP, uh, that TLP will be given to the data link layer. Data link layer add uh, two more, uh, fields like uh, sequence number and uh, some LCRC check, which will check whether the link is correct or not, it is prone to errors or not, that will be checked here. After that, the physical layer will add some ordered sets uh, that will be discussed later. Why? Because you might not get what it is exactly here itself. After generating those, that link will transmit the exact TLP and DLP, which we have added towards the trans uh, receiver side and the receiver end will exactly do the reverse of the transmitter. And like here we'll deassemble that packets, which we have transmitted from the transmitter end. So that the, after deassembling all and completing the error checks, uh, the device too will get exact packet, which we are sending. If the packet is uh, not sent properly, then the data link player will give some act, NAC, like NAC acknowledgement towards the transmitter so that we'll know that something might happen uh, at the receiver and we need to resend the packet. So this is how the PCIe will work exactly. Like the overall PCIe. That's it. Like, if you have any doubts, you can raise. Or if I done something wrong while explaining, you can correct me. Uh, Ma'am, I have a doubt. Like, uh, you were talking about legacy endpoint and native endpoint, right? Can you just yeah. uh, give give us an understanding of what exactly it is? Like, uh, if. Uh, uh, if you know about PCIe, PCIe have multiple generations itself. Like it has uh, one to six generations, uh, generations currently. So uh, if it is a PCIe endpoint, we can accommodate like uh, any gen, uh, like any generation of PCIe device we are using. If it is of 
fifth generation then we can accommodate fourth generation third generation second generation first generation all those can be accommodated in that endpoint itself since it is backward compatible coming to the legacy endpoint uh, legacy endpoint is an endpoint through which we can connect the pci x devices which are io methods means that is a previous version not the generation and the native endpoint is used to uh, like connect the PCI devices, which are memory mapped devices. That is also another version of PCI, not the generation of PCI. Is that understandable or? Did I clarify you a doubt or raised another doubt? Yeah, yeah I got it. I got it. We are uh, reducing the pin count, right? Bit count, not pin count. Yeah, yeah. We are reducing the pin count while moving from the parallel to the serial, right? Yeah. That pin count is only a part of the sideband signals only, right? Apart from that, we are also using the yeah. parallel communication, but the data we are transmitting serially only, right? Yeah. So that's, that's one of the advantage right? actually. That's not only the advantage of PCIe. Yeah, but uh, in the pin count, we are uh, reducing in terms of sideband signals only, right? Yeah. As the pin count is much in the parallel and we are getting the interrupts uh, through the sidebands. So in order yeah, to yeah, eradicate no. that, we moved to it. Hmm, what is meant by edge devices? Edge devices or like the peripheral devices, we can say it as. Okay. So, uh, peripheral devices in the sense, man, like communication mm -hmm. between peripheral devices, you are saying? Like a communication between the CPU and the peripheral devices, PCIe will do. Okay. Uh, actually, I don't have any idea about cloud uh, and all. So, okay. Not a big issue. So what does it exactly mean? I'm not able to get actually. Like uh, multiple companies have multiple servers, like separate servers for them, right? If I'm not wrong. Uh, like uh, those servers will be accommodated in the cloud. cloud. Like uh, through networking, we can fetch the data. If we lost the data in our servers also, there will be a mirrored image of our data in that uh, cloud. And that can be connected to us in order to, like through the networking only, we'll fetch the data from there. Uh, you mean like uh, communication between CPU and the peripherals, man? That is different, and which I have said uh, right now is different. I'm saying about the cloud and the edge devices cloud. right now. PCIe is a wired protocol only, no? Wired? No, I, no, I don't think so. Like, um, wired. I don't think so. Okay. Okay, ma'am. I, I, don't, I don't have any idea about this. Sir. Thank you. Uh, wired in the sense, what do you mean? Like, what did you ask? Wired. Because it is basically... Uh, uh, sir, uh, I wanted to ask, like, cloud networking and edge devices, uh, like, uh, bandwidth mapping and all, I, I'm not uh, able to map between these two things, like, because uh, as since long we are as telling I know, about it is basic. Yeah, it is a physical. Uh, it should be. I mean, it is a physical uh, interface only. Okay. Yeah. Uh, basically, it uh, communicates between. According to my knowledge, it communicates between CPU and uh, other components like uh, uh, you know uh, other uh, supporting components, uh, endpoints. Okay. Okay. 